You're in Hot Rod Land, Phil coming to you once again from Carcraft Classics. Today we're showing off this gorgeous 1967 first year Firebird convertible. I can't wait to get into all the details, but before we do that, for anybody maybe watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. We're about 30 minutes directly north of Atlanta, about 40 minutes from the airport. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. Again, that's 470-239-4977. Email for the shop is carcraftclassics at gmail.com. My name is Phil, I'm the owner here, and my cell number is 770-317-1415. Feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. If you've got any questions about this or any of our inventory and if you're into classic cars and neon signs wheel and tire packages the old trucks things like that please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here on youtube and be sure to check us out on the web at carcraftclassics.com all right so this baby this is a locally built beautiful first gen firebird convertible I've got so much to tell you about this car. Before we start with me walking around drooling, up, drooling about all the sweet restoration work that's been done in that car, I want to just run over here and tell you what's going to come along with the car. Got a full shop right now, 67 Elko in for some work. A couple square bodies, OBS truck, and a Corvette back there, Chevy 2 Nova, C10. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Be sure to check us out again at carcraftclassics.com. But anyway, this car, again, it came to us locally. A gentleman named Scott brought it to me and asked me to market the car for him, and I couldn't be happier. I love the Firebirds. There's just not as many of them out there. I love Camaros too, but uh, I really got a nice soft spot in my heart for the, for the Firebirds because, again, they are a little bit more rare. And this is easily the nicest one we've ever had here at Carcraft Classics been a $50,000 plus restoration done in this car to say frame off or nut and bolt restoration these terms that are thrown around the internet so freely it's really it's really underselling this car more than that was done to this car this this car was put on a rotisserie and we'll have pictures of that in the ad as well uh, but completely restored and completely taken apart uh, as we walk around the car, you'll see every nut, bolt, every fitting, everything has been either restored or it's brand new. The job is just meticulous, meticulous job. So again, we're here in Cumming. That's where this car lives. The restoration was done out in Monroe, New York. Scott bought the car back in 2004 from a gentleman in South Carolina, brought it here, and I think the restoration was completed in 2008. Since then, he's only put 3,000 miles on the car, and it's sat in a climate-controlled environment. I mean, the car is as mint as it was the day the restoration was done. Uh, and again, we'll get into all those particulars. But, uh, you know, typically I read off the details on our window sticker, which I'm about to do to you. But uh, the thing is, there's so much that's been done to this car that I couldn't fit it all in the ad. So... If you have any additional questions, again, my number is 770-317-1415. My name is Phil. Give me a holler. But I'll show you here in a minute. I mean, I've got documentation on the build. Uh, the engine's been rebuilt. I mean, just the list of improvements, upgrades, and restoration that's been done to this car. I could never fit into one window sticker. But I did try to touch on the most important things, and those are... Okay, so it's got matching numbers drivetrain. That's the original 326 small block. It's a 5.3 liter V8. It's got the original transmission as well. Two-speed power glide automatic. Runs and shifts excellent. All right, let's see what else we got here. Got the original 10-bolt rear end. It's been upgraded to power front disc brakes. It came with all drums all around. Now it's got disc brakes up front. That was an upgrade that was done during the restoration as well. Let's see, it's got the original exhaust manifolds and new two and a half inch dual exhaust running out the, the back there. Let's see, factory power steering, factory radiator and shroud. Uh, that's not the original on the radiator and shroud. That's all new. And actually, I read in the paperwork that the shroud is for a big block. So it actually should pull in a little bit more air uh, to the engine and keep it a little cool, cooler. 
The engine bay and the undercarriage have been completely detailed. I'll show you that here in a moment. Freshly painted core support, inner fenders, and firewall. It's got a set of staggered 17-inch polished American Race and Torque th Thrust wheels, but it also comes with a, a set of Pontiac uh, original factory si style wheels as well. <clears throat> Let's see. It's got Toyo Proxus 4 tires on it, 215.50 up front, 235.50 in the rear. It's got, the body is just completely freshly painted, pin straight, rust free, unbelievable. New trunk pan, new floor pans were done during the restoration. The car is basically brand new, sheet metal wise, okay? Let's see here. It's got a new cloth power convertible top. I also have the boot here, I'll show you shortly. Uh, that's like a medium silver metallic color and uh, it is, to say mint is an understatement. The paint is unbelievable. It is a two-stage paint, um, base coat, clear coat as well. All right, they did put on the Firebird Formula double scoop hood, so that's not original to the car, but it looks a lot better than the base hood. Let's see, all new emblems, exterior mirrors and door handles, new headlights and taillights, original bumpers were re-chromed, complete new interior. The interior is black, buckets with the middle console, new carpet, door panels, and floor mats. New interior window crank handles and door handles. New gauge bezel and factory gauges were restored. Factory original stereo is in the dash. And then there's an aftermarket stereo in the glove box. It's got manual windows and locks, heat, but no AC. Of course, it's a convertible, so we don't have to worry about AC. But I also have the PHS, the uh, Pontiac Historical Service documentation for the car. I've got the original build sheet. It's a copy, but... It is from the original build sheet. I got the owner's manual. The car will come with a Georgia title, clean Georgia title. All the build receipts and the original door panels. I have some other stuff to share with you. Let's get started over here. So you can, don't have to listen to me read off that paper. There's the boot. I don't think it's ever been installed. All the clips and everything are brand new. There's your clips. This is a folder with some information from when the car was purchased by Scott, okay? This was in the glove box, and it, is, it shows that the car originally came from Wallingford, Connecticut. Scott, again, bought it from somebody in 2004 in South Carolina, and we've also got, we've also got some uh, receipts here from the build, some parts. Got more receipts here, and here's the, the receipt for the restoration. You see it totaled $47,000. And let's see what else we've got here. We've got some photos from the car, the original car before it was restored. There's your build sheet. Here is the PHS uh, report from Pontiac Historic Society or service. There's your owner's manual. Here's some extra parts that will come with the car as well. The original door panels, some repop kick panels. We've got also those original style factory Pontiac wheels that will come with the car as well. And a car cover. So we've got plenty of goodies, backup documentation. We've got the history on the, on the car. We've got that PHS report. We've got all kinds of receipts from the restoration and engine rebuild and all the parts that were ordered. So it's got plenty of provenance coming with it. Beautiful, beautiful presentation here. Again, it's a 1967 Firebird. Started the same year as the Camaro. This is the first year for the Firebird. And they didn't make many convertibles, I'm guessing, that year. This one is just gorgeous. Again, it's like a medium silver. It's not super dark. I wouldn't call it a gunmetal dark. Uh, and it originally was in a silver glaze color, which uh, I have the paperwork over there to show the original color. And it was a silver, but it was just a little bit less uh, dark. It was a little, little lighter color. And I doubt that it was metallic. The fine metallic you see in the body line there where it kind of flops a little bit. 
So if you know anything about the pony car wars back in the day, Mustang, of course, they started it over at Ford. Then Chevrolet introduced the Camaro, and on the heels of the Camaro, the Firebird was introduced by Pontiac. And it's got quite a following. This may be the nicest Firebird that I've ever seen. The restoration process was done again here locally in Monroe, Georgia. Over the course of three or four years. And it is now complete. And there isn't a speck of rust. There isn't a, any problems with uh, the car being full of mud or anything like that. You see it's got the factory spare. Got the factory jack. Unbelievable job they did on this car. I want to say it's just like factory, but it might be nicer. There's a look underneath the trunk lid. The old factory jack sticker. Got to have that. All right, let's get this down here. You know, when they designed the, uh, the Firebird, they took some cues or some design features from existing models. Like you see those slit tail lights, as we call them. Those are from the GTO. And then, of course, they had other design features that were made just for the Firebird. Like this front bumper. It's kind of contoured to match the front end of the vehicle. It's kind of molded into the front fenders, the hood, and the core support. Super cool look. I just love, love the front end of the Firebird. All right, so here we are under the hood. You see the core support is brand new. Everything under here is new or replaced. You can see all the nuts and the bolts. Everything is factory new, stainless there. We've got the body bolts, GM style, black ones. All the gaps are right on the car. Firewall is gorgeous. As I mentioned, that was all restored. Get your trim tag back there for all the purists that want to see that. Again, this car came with four-wheel drum brakes, so one of the upgrades that were done during restoration was they put disc on the front, and you see the power booster and dual master cylinder. Certainly didn't come with that. That's a nice upgrade. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, this is numbers matching verified drivetrain. It's got the 5.3 liter V8. Looks like we got a little passenger here trying to hang out with us. Come on, buddy, hit the road. So anyway, numbers matching V8. That's the original engine that was in there from the factory. 326 cubic inches. Again, it's a 5.3. You see down there, power steering pump. So the car does have factory power steering. Put those inner fenders. This thing is ready for the show, but it's also ready to be driven. As I mentioned, Scott, after the restoration was completed in 2008, 2009 timeframe, He's only put 3,000 miles on the car since, and it doesn't even look like he's done that much. Just beautiful under here. Let me give you a look at that fan shroud I mentioned to you before. It's brand new as well. Engine's been repainted, and it was rebuilt back before Scott got the car. The gentleman out in South Carolina was beginning a restoration, so he had the engine rebuilt, and I do have paperwork on that. So that 326 is fresh. Power Glide transmission is fresh. She is ready to roll. Everything new or restored under here. Even the underhood insulation mat. To keep that heat away from your paint, the top side of the hood. The factory mat. She's peppy. Choke works. It came, I believe it was born with a two barrel, 250 horse, 326 cubic inch. Now it's got an aftermarket, I think an Edelbrock under there. Yeah, it's got an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor under there. Choke does work. She's ready to be started even on those cold days. As I mentioned, it's got the formula hood. The double snorkel formula 400 hood. Even though it was a, you know, convertible. I keep saying base, I shouldn't say base, but uh, it's a convertible model. It didn't come with that hood. That's an aftermarket steel hood. 
just love the front end on these Firebirds. As I mentioned, it's so sweet. Get those fog lights down there and the balance. Nice grill. I noticed when I was shooting pictures of the car that they even used a silver or dark gray metallic paint inside the grill here. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Pictures, 75, 80 pictures of this car will be up on our site within 24 hours. Uh, that's carcraftclassics.com. Just click on the inventory page, scroll down to the solo picture of this car, and then you'll, another page will open up with the pictures, the video link, the whole nine yards. Again, that's carcraftclassics.com. Love the hood. Love the double snorkel hood. Subtle, but sends a message. This thing's ready for some, uh, some go, not only show. Peppy little small block. Great automatic transmission. That's the two-speed power glide, which I love. I know a lot of race guys love the power glide. I like it just because, believe it or not, it seems to not wind up as high as the Turbo 350 or 400. The uh, transmissions that came after the power glide, those were three-speed, and even though they had a third gear, this car seems to do better at 65 miles an hour, uh, the power glide transmission, so I really like it. And, of course, being that its numbers matching is cool. All the badges all around the car, like this one, emblems, badges, trim, wheel opening trim, rocker trim, everything's new or restored. Brand new set of mirrors. The only thing I've seen on the car that wasn't fully restored was this piece of trim right here, which is still in great shape, but uh, shows its age a little bit. But when I tell you this car is mint, I mean it is mint. All the trim around the windshield, glass, the windshield wipers, the cowl, everything lines up well. It's beautifully done. Again, we've got a set of 17 staggered. Maybe a 17.7 and 17.8 is my guess. I think the front is a 215.50, the back is a 235. And uh, it's got new Toyo tires on it. And those are staggered American Racing polished torque thrust wheels. And as I showed you before, we've got the factory style. If that's your preference, they will go with the car. One of the other upgrades, in my opinion, that were done tastefully to this car during restoration was they went with this cloth hood instead of the black vinyl that it came with. You know, the, the tops are, they're not really a focal point, right? When you're driving your car around, hopefully you got it down, it's a nice sunny day and you're enjoying driving with your top down. But the thing is, when they are up, that vinyl can get really chalky looking the one that came with it from the factory. The black cloth seems to hold up better and contrasts nicely with the gray paint. It holds its color longer. It holds its shape better. It doesn't look as, as I mentioned, chalky. So I really like that they went with the cloth top on this car. And you see the back glass, or plastic in this case, is nice and clear. Another indication that uh, there haven't been many miles put on this car since the restoration was completed. Again, all the trim around the top, up front, and here in the rear is all mint. No bubbles, no rust. You know, there might be a chip here or there. He did put a few miles on it, but the paint is spectacular. Those American racing wheels. Door handles, everything's in great shape. Now, not only did they detail under the hood, but they detailed the undercarriage as well. And I'm going to get under there towards the end of this video and show you guys everything. Because it's, it's that clean under there that I really want to show you. Not only is it, you know, powder coated and beautiful but all the fittings the exhaust everything's new under there all the steering components all the bushings they they touched every part of this car and they did a great job not good great 
You know, we often hear guys say the underside is just as nice as the top side, and that holds true for sure with this car. Again, we've got a black cloth top here instead of the vinyl. I love the staggered setup with the wheels. The back's definitely got a little bit more meat. Sticks out just a hair. No rub, no scrub, but the look is right. Pontiac Firebird convertible. Not many of these left. Certainly not in this condition. All right, let's take a look inside. Interior is all new. Black as you can see. Black vinyl, black carpet, everything is new. All the handles, the window cranks, the door handles. They went with an aftermarket steering wheel. I think they got that from year one, if my memory serves me correctly. I mean, just to give you an example of how new everything is and how far they went with this car, look at that plate under there that I think holds up the steering column or fills in the hole in the firewall for the steering column. See all new fittings, the plate's brand new. Super clean even down in the footwell. Got the Trans Am floor mats, gotta have those. As I mentioned, the carpet's new, little sill plate. Rockers are mint. Here's your Vintag. It's a bucket seat car, middle console. Unbelievable. You'll have to take my word for it, but it even feels new when you sit inside. You know, the cushion on the seats and everything isn't worn out. All right, let's see. There's your gauge cluster showing 19,497 miles. My guess is that's 119, but I guess you never know. It could be 19,000. Certainly in the condition it's in now, you could make an argument for that. But the plastic over the gauges is not all yellowed. Everything's been restored. Super clear. They look brand new. Just like the emergency brake pedal, the brake pedal, the gas pedal. As I mentioned a little earlier, it does still have the factory radio in place with the wood grain middle console piece here but there's another stereo in the dash I'm sorry in the glove box dash pad mint even like the chrome up here for the header uh, and the handle for the convertible top to lock it, sing it down everything's all brand new sun visors little headliner you have for the let's see for the uh convertible top look at how gorgeous this car is back seat i'm guessing probably it wasn't even sat in yet Even the little light in the footwell in the rear works. Look at that. All right, let's go around and look at the passenger side. Little gills on the side of the Firebird. Another unique design feature for this particular car. pin straight as I mentioned earlier again gaps everything right on this car you can tell it's undergone a in-depth restoration a little glimpse at the exhaust under there brand new 
leaf springs brand new. Even the seat belt retractors, everything new. If you're looking for a Firebird, always wanted one, had one in the past, neighbor had one and you always wanted one, whatever the case may be, please give me a call, I've got one for you. First, I'm going to fire this baby up, let you hear it, doors open and close flawlessly. Another sign of a good restoration. I'm gonna fire it up, let you hear it. Again, nice throaty sound to the uh, exhaust. Two and a half inch. Just a little bit better than factory. Nice little small block under the hood. Nice and tame. You can drive this thing every single day if you'd like. No crazy noises coming out from under the hood. overheating we'll be back in just a minute everybody we're back and the last thing I want to show you here outside is the operation of the convertible top as I mentioned that's one of the factory options on this car along with power steering the middle console I think the tires popped up on the PHS report which of course have been replaced long ago but the main option on the car was the automatic transmission and the power convertible top. So I want to show you that that is operational. So just bear with me a minute and we'll get that sucker going up and down for you. And just place the camera down here, make sure it's pointed correctly. There we go. So as you, as you can see, the motor for the convertible top and all the mechanisms are all in working order. Goes up and down without issue. And I do have the boot as well. If you want to cover up that convertible top, you can snap that brand new vinyl boot on over the top as it's in its lowered position. 
Look how beautiful she looks now. Top down is always a better option, right? These cars always look better with the top down. Although this one's pretty nice with the top up. Still an improvement. 1967, first year Pontiac Firebird convertible. Factory V8 matching numbers, factory automatic transmission also matching numbers. Some subtle upgrades, the wheels and tires. The cloth top instead of the vinyl top. The 400 Firebird 400 hood has been installed as I mentioned earlier. Rotisserie, frame off, every nut and bolt restored. Gorgeous. All right, now we're going to take it inside. I'm going to put it up on the rack for everybody so you can see the undercarriage because it is quite the treat. They did such a wonderful job under there of detailing it. You can see all of the new parts and fittings and lines, etc. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes. But before we go, I know the big question everybody wants to hear the answer to is what are we asking? The asking price on this vehicle is $55,500, which if you follow these cars through the auctions, a fully restored, rotisserie restored car could be valued as high as $100,000. So we think this is more than a fair price, $55,500. And as you've heard me say on other videos, we can help with financing. Our preferred lender is Collector Car Lending, and we can put you in touch with them. So just give me a holler if you'd like to start the finance process. Also, any kind of customization that you'd like to do to this car, we can, we can help with. Just let me know. I don't know what you would do to a fully restored car, a beautiful car like this, but we could add air conditioning. That'll run you about 3,500 bucks. We could change the wheel and tire package. Like I said, you're gonna get a set of factory Pontiac rally wheels with it. So we could put those on for you or something else. And the last thing I wanna leave with you is uh, we can also help with shipping. Anywhere in the lower 48 states, we can put it right in your driveway, either enclosed trailer or open trailer, whichever you prefer. So like I said, we'll be back in just a moment with uh, a little bit of detail for the undercarriage, all righty? Okay, everybody, we're back with the last segment of the video. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the undercarriage here because it is so pretty. Take a look. We got the uh, 67 Firebird up on the rack. And the first thing you see that jumps out is just brand new fuel tank, brand new entire fuel system. Okay, I saw a receipt in the paperwork when I was going through it for leaf springs. So the entire suspension in the rear is brand new. We've got new leaf springs. And hopefully you can see those new shocks up there. Brand new shocks on all four corners. Factory original numbers matching 10 bolt rear end. Drum brakes on the rear. And look at those gorgeous pans. Got the uh, trunk pan right here. Hopefully you can see that in the video. I'll certainly get some still shots of it. But brand new underside. Here's your new two and a half inch exhaust, which as I mentioned earlier, uh, is connected to the, to the V8 with a uh, factory exhaust manifold, not headers. All right, let's get down on one knee here so I can show you. There's that new dual exhaust, and look at those floor pans. Just gorgeous. Brand spanking new. Brand new, guys and gals. Cross members all new under here. All right. There we go. Oil pan, trans pan, cross member, as I mentioned, new. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now the front suspension. Body mount bushings, all new. Sway uh, bar bushings, all new. Tie rod ends, ball joints, everything new. Freshly built when they uh, finish the restoration. You can see all the nuts and bolts are all fresh and new disc brake upgrade in the front end during restoration. 
just gorgeous all new fuel lines <coughs> frame was stripped and powder coated subframe anyway beautiful beautiful presentation oh, one other thing I wanted to show you here's the body mount bushings are brand new as well Hopefully you can see those on the video one more time gorgeous I know the real car guys and gals out there will appreciate that hard work by me getting down on one knee <laughs> a little too old for that nowadays but did want to show you this since the undercarriage is detailed so nicely okay so again asking price on this vehicle is 55.5 we can help with financing shipping and light customization let me know if you have any questions my name is Phil number 770-317-1415 thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it be safe out there and God bless America <laughs>